In this video, we are going to continue the discussion of uh, design of deterministic finite state machine. We are going to see some more problems. Already I have uh, made a video on DFSM design. This is uh, second video. Okay, let us read the question. We need to design a DFSM which accepts the strings of A's and B's of even length. It means the strings which is of length 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, etc. need to be accepted. So let us make a guess of the strings. So the language may contain the string something like this. It may contain AA, BB, ABA, sorry, ABAB, BBAB, BAAABA, I think six characters are there, etc. So every string must be of even length. In the previous video, we have seen the problems which needs to identify the pattern. But now, the strings which are present in the language, we are concerned about the length of the strings. So, the length of the string must be even means it must be the length of 2 and multiples of 2. So, the design is very simple. Let the start state is Q0. We know that being in the initial state, the machine would not have read a string. Or, we can assume that it would have read a string of length 0 which might be epsilon. So from Q0 if you define a transition to another state let it be Q1 it is possible to read a string of length only 1 right. So from this state once again I connect the transition back to the state Q0. So what is possible now Q0 is the start state from Q0 it reads a string of length 1 from Q1, once again, it reads a string of length another one. It means length 1, then length 2. Then if it continues to read the another character 3, it means up to this it has read the string of length 3. Then from Q1 to Q0, if it continues, it reads 4. If I make Q0 as the final state, I can say my design is complete. As of now, it recognizes strings of length 2 and multiples of 2. So what are the characters it reads? It can read A or it can read B also. Here also it can read either A or B. I give a proper example. Okay, let us consider the string B, B, A, B. From the initial state Q0 on reading B. B is a first character. On reading B, the state is changed to Q1. Till now it read string of length 1. I write the length here. So from Q1 on reading another character, it can be either A or B, it enters into the state Q0. Again from Q0 after reading A, it enters into the state Q1. From Q1 after reading B, it enters into the state Q0. So for every even length, it ends in Q0. That is why we declared Q0 as a final state. Okay, let us move on to the next question. Strings of A's of odd length. So, the design is the same except the final state. From the state Q0, it reads string of length 1 and changes the state to Q1. The symbol it is A because sigma is given as A. So, from Q1, once again on reading another symbol, it goes to the state Q0. Again from Q0, if it reads one more symbol, it means it is reading string of length 3. If it continues to read string of length 4, string of length 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. Now by this time you would have guessed that which must be the final state. Q1 is the final state. Because at the state Q1, the machine is able to read the strings of odd length. From Q0, it could read A only once. But if it, if it tries to read one more time between the same state, it reads the string of length 3, then string of length 5, then string of length 7, etc. Since sigma is given as a, we also write on the transition a. Suppose if sigma is equal to a, b, c, we have to define the transition in such a way a, b, c like this. In the sense from q0, either reading a or reading b or reading c, it enters into the state q1. In these kind of problems, the pattern is not our major concern. The length of the string is our major concern. Right. Let us move on to the next question. This is the next question of today. Language contains a set of strings W where the length of the string modulo 3 is equal to 0. 
length of the string modulo 3 is equal to 0. It means what is a, a pattern of the string or what are the strings present in the language? It contains strings of A's and B's of length 3 and multiples of 3. Of course, once again, it is a problem which is concerned with the length of the string. Similar to the problem, only we need to attempt this. Let Q0 be the start state. On reading the first symbol, it enters into the state Q1. The first symbol can be anything. It can be either A or B. On reading the second symbol, it enters into the state Q2. On reading the third symbol, let me connect the transition back to Q0. If the string length is more than 3, it means on reading the 4th character, it will enter into Q1. On reading the 5th character, it goes to Q2. On reading the 6th character, it comes to Q0. 7, 8, 9. Likewise, it continues. So, which must be the final state? Q0 must be the final state. So, you can define the transition on symbols A or B like this. I explain the same thing with a better example. Let us consider the string B A A B A B. So from Q0 on reading B it goes to Q1. From Q1 on reading A it goes to Q2. From Q2 on reading A it enters into Q0. From Q0 on reading B it goes to Q1. From Q1 on reading this A it goes to Q2. From Q2 on reading this B, it enters into the state Q0. Okay, let me just number as per the length or the index of the string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know that the string is of length 6. So, initially the machine is in Q0. When the length of the string is 3 also, it comes back to Q0. When the length of the string is 6 also, this is, I mean, the machine enters into the state Q0. So, Q0 must be the final state. Suppose the question is, Length of W modulo 3 instead of 0 if it is asked as 1. What does it mean? When you divide the length of the string by 3, it should return the remainder 1. So what are the length of the strings? The length of the string must be 1, 4, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, likewise. So these are the strings. A string length would be accepted by this language. In such cases, the pattern remains the same. But Q1 will become the final state. So, uh, that's all about this problem. Okay, let us move on to the next problem. This problem is more interesting. We have to understand a uh, little intuitively. See, length of the W modulo 3 is greater than length of W modulo 2. So, let me take... Uh, and if you divide the length of the string by 3, it returns a reminder. What are the possible reminder? It returns either 0 or 1 or 2. So, let the reminder be x. When you divide the length of the string by 2, it returns a reminder. The possible reminders are 0 and 1. Let us consider it as y. So, what is the condition given? When the string length is divided by 3 and at the same time divided by 2, the reminder x must be greater than y, such a string length are accepted. Those strings are belonging to the language. Let us see this with a little more example. I mean with little more clarity. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. These numbers are nothing but length of the string, string length. Okay. Now, I try to divide the string length by modulo 3. We know that the possible reminders are 0, 1, 2. Let us write the pattern. 0 modulo 3 is 0. 1 modulo 3 is 1. 2 modulo 3 is 2. 3 modulo 3 is 0. This pattern repeats 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Right. Same string length. Let us divide it by 2 and let us find the reminder. 0 modulo 2 is 0, 1 modulo 2 is 1, 2 modulo 2 is 0, 3 modulo 2 is 1. So this pattern repeats 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. I said this is x and this is y. What is the condition? x must be greater than y. So let us select only those patterns. 
here x is greater than y so string of length 2 must be accepted by the machine here also x is greater than y x is greater than y string of length 4 and 5 must be accepted then once again string length 8 is accepted string length of 10 and 11 must be accepted right now how do we design the dfsm if you observe the reminder pattern up to this it is the same in the sense 0 0 1 1 2 0 0 1 1 0 2 1 again from the string length of 6 the same pattern repeats 0 0 1 1 2 0 0 1 1 0 2 1 I can blindly say for 12 the reminder pattern is 0 0 for 13 the reminder pattern must be 1 1 etc it continues so making use of this we are going to design the mission Q0 is the start state from Q0 to Q1 it could read only string of length 1 it is obvious from Q1 to Q2 it could read string of length 2 from Q2 to Q3, it could read string of length 3. So, we are going to have Q4. From Q3 to Q4, it is going to read a string of length 4. String of length 4 means I am telling about this, talking about this. From Q4 to Q5, it could read a string of length 5. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or indirectly it is nothing but the length of the string. 0 modulo 3 is 0, 0 modulo 2 is 0. So, this state is nothing but the pair of information. 0, 0. I can write like this also. This 1, Q1 is nothing but up to this it could read only string of length 1. This 1 is nothing but the reminder pattern indirectly 1, 1. Why? Because 1 modulo 3 is also 1. This 1 modulo 2 is also 1. This is 2, 0. This is 0, 1. This is 1, 0. This is again 2, 1. After this, what is the reminder pattern? Repeat 0, 0. So, what I am doing? I am just connecting the transition back to the state Q0. So, for the length string 6, the reminder pattern is 0, 0. So, when it enters into Q1 again repeatedly, the reminder pattern is 1, 1. For Q2, it is 2, 0. For Q3, it is 0, 1. For Q4, it is 1, 0. For Q5, it is 2, 1. Yes, this is a design. Now the challenge is to identify the accepting states because Q0 is a starting state. We need to find the accepting states. Which would be the accepting state? String of length 2 must be accepted. String of length 4 must be accepted. String of length 5 must be accepted. So Q2 is one of the final state. Q4 is another final state. And Q5 is also another final state. Right. So, what, what must be the symbols I need to write here? A, comma, B. Because sigma here in the problem, it is given as A, comma, B. So, on the transitions also, I am writing the symbol A, comma, B. So, lastly, I try to explain this. From Q0 to Q1, it reads string of length 1. Up to here, 2. Up to here, it is reading 3. Then it reads 4. Then it reads 5. Once it is reading the string of length 6, it enters into the state Q0. If the string is containing the 7th character, then it will enter into Q1. 8th character, Q2. 9th character, Q3. 10th character, Q4. 11th character, Q5. For 12th character, once again, it comes back to Q0. How did we determine that these states are enough to design the DFSM? Because of the reminder pattern. Please remember this. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1. Again, the same pattern repeats here. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, etc. This is repeating here. Based on that, we decided we require states Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5. From Q5, once again, it is connected back to Q0 itself. I hope you would have understood this problem. For any queries and doubts, you can write it in the comment section. And also I request all my viewers to subscribe, like and comment on my channel. Thank you.